Hello everybody, welcome to Nature Calls, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to give you my review of my Model Y. It has 25,000 miles and I've owned it for about a year and a half now. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough of like the major wear spots on the car and just my overall experience with it and just things I like, little things that seem to pop up here and there, and uh, you know just the overall user experience and any kind of repairs and fixes that I've had to do recently since my last uh, video on this vehicle. All right, so first we're gonna do a walk around the car and just talk about the exterior before heading into the ex interior and checking out the trunk and stuff like that. Uh, the exterior is held up really well. I know there were complaints by people online when I was looking into buying a Tesla complaining about the exterior. Honestly, I have not had any problems. Uh, now, that may be, you know, because I have the PPF film on it, but the paint protection film is really only on uh, this front half of the car here and on the trunk itself. And we only put it on the trunk because when the rear hatch opens up, it actually hits into uh, the garage door. Uh, we actually have a... <laughs> A pull noodle uh, that protects the car from actually hitting into the metal garage door but we figured the paint protection film would be an, an added bonus uh, to that uh, yes the car is dirty uh, that's that's because the car is dirty and I did not wash it uh, I, I did this because well I haven't gotten the chance to wash it and this is like a real review I'm not gonna make this thing look as perfect as possible to tell you that it's perfect I'm going to show you, this is what it looks like in real life. This is, this is what uh, 25,000 miles uh, look like. Uh, they look pretty good still. Uh, you, can, you, can really see, you can really see the sun shining in there. Uh, it's still looking sharp. I, honestly, it cleans up really nicely. Again, uh, some of this may be because of the paint protection film. Uh, but on that note, the doors and stuff don't have any, and including this, this rear quarter panel. It's only until you get to... Uh, the trunk itself that you have more uh, paint protection film on it. Uh, other than that, things like uh, you know, high touch surfaces like the door handles have been holding up uh, great. No wear on those. Uh, in terms of like just opening and closing doors and any kind of rubbing, uh, it looks really good from a, you know, I'm not, I'm, I, don't, I don't build cars here, I just buy them. Uh, it's still looking really great. Still closing good too. Uh, for the rims, my plasti dipped rims are still holding up really well. And I have a video on that if you uh, want to check it out, if you want to do this to your own rims. They match really nicely with uh, the rest of the car, especially if you, well, you don't have to have a black car, but you could probably you could you could plasti dip them in a blue or or gray or whatever if you if you really wanted to. Um, other than that, from the outside, pretty pretty standard, but uh, it's looking good. Uh, before we head, I guess inside inside, we should probably check out the trunk, uh, just because it's it's an important important feature of the vehicle. See what kind of wear we have. Uh, in the trunk. Uh, the hatch itself really does fit in really nicely. Uh, there is no uh, you know, paint scuffs from it not uh, you know, closing correctly. And honestly, the only wear is just some scratches on the back plastic here from well, bringing stuff in and out of it. Just normal, normal use. Other than that, it really looks uh, you know, pretty brand new. Otherwise, again, could use a could use a vacuum, but, you know, <laughs> eh, th th these things will come. And it still closes great, just like it was brand new. All right, so uh, let's go and check out uh, the inside of the car. We're going to walk around the front here again, take it from the, from the driver's seat. And from the inside... Uh, Everything's doing pretty good. Uh, the best investment so far have been the WeatherTech uh, floor mats. I think that was really, uh, I think that was a really good idea to install. 
Uh, we got ones for the uh, the back as well, and they fit really nicely. Um, in terms of how the seats are holding up, obviously the driver's seat is going to be used the most, and it's still looking looking pretty good. Obviously, you know, it's getting some character from uh, from people actually uh, sitting in it, but it doesn't look it doesn't look terrible. It's not falling apart. You know, the stitching's still holding up. It's not you're not seeing any frays in it or anything like that. And again, you know, this is only a year and a half and and twenty five thousand miles, but. You know, it should be a pretty telling sign on how the rest of it's going to age. Uh, same thing with the steering wheel. Uh, still feels really nice. Haven't had any worn wear spots in it from, you know, constantly, you know, touching it. Uh, the wrap that's on here, you know, that, that comes standard. All the stitching for it, how they wrap it, is still holding up uh, quite nicely as well. And, uh, I don't know, there's really surprisingly not much you know, going on, you would, you would think you would see a lot more signs of where, even, even in the back here, um, I was kind of curious to see if this area would get a lot, just because it, I don't know, kind of, kind of sticks out, like, like, you get into it, but it, it, I don't know, there, there seems to be a lot of, kind of a lot of space, like, it kind of gets closed up by the door, but, uh, Hopefully you under, understand. I figured there'd be a lot more wear in here from people hitting it with their shoes. We'll check around uh, the other side to see if that's also the case there. Again, the back seats don't get used quite as much. Yeah, same thing. Uh, kind of hard to see because of the sun. But no wear there either. Um, let's see what else. Uh, <laughs> vinyl wrapping this shiny center console here was probably one of the best improvements besides plasti dipping uh the wheel covers out there um this cuts down so much on just the how dirty it will look because i left these stock and you can see you know you can get you can get you can smudge these up so easily uh just from your regular fingerprints you don't even have to be eating food or anything like that just from regular daily use they get all all smudgy so wrapping the center console was uh like a, a pro move of course uh since this is a earlier uh model y it didn't have the new fancy console you know we still have the old one uh the new center console is way better uh, i have that on uh my model three over there and is a much uh, better design than this one and you won't have to wrap that. Uh, if we turn around here, we can look at uh, the back seats uh, and the random stuff I have back here. Uh, they're still holding up well too, uh, just like, like the front seats are still looking nice and sharp. Um, let's see, oh, one thing I wanna point out is uh, the headliner. Yes, the headliner. Uh, if we turn this around, and hopefully, I don't know if we can quite see it. It's easier to see in person, but uh, because of how um, light colored this is, um, it definitely seems to want to grab uh, some some dirt. Uh, here, uh, there we go, there, you see a smudge there. So I do have to work on cleaning some of that out. Um, I like how the new Model S has uh, this in black. Uh, you can really hide uh, the dirt marks better, especially since, you know, <laughs> these smudges didn't, like, it's not like somebody came into this vehicle and they were, like, dirty. Just This is just, like, from light use. Like, you go shopping and you have your hands on the cart and then you go into your car and you just, oh, it's touch something. Next thing you know, you got a, you got a smudge. These smudges aren't showing up on any of these other surfaces besides, uh, you know, this front part of the headliner here and, uh, was it the A-pillar? as well and with uh with these uh sunshades you you get the same thing you'll get all these random smudges on here so uh that would be my, like my one uh complaint you know for uh like the design of this vehicle they really sh should hopefully all go to black at least at least to the a pillar and maybe black uh sun visors here uh those two things would definitely help out uh, cutting down uh, the mess. 
other than that, uh, this vehicle's doing great. I'm having a great time with it. Uh, it definitely easily seats uh, five people. And uh, I think it's it's been a great value. All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's uh, a look at my Model Y after 25,000 miles and a year and a half of ownership. Uh, really, it is holding up quite well. Well, like it should for the price. Uh, in terms of having to get things fixed, uh, since the last video, at a year, I've had zero problems uh, with it. I think maybe one flat tire, but that had to do with things on the road and not actually from Tesla. Uh, I don't know if I covered that in uh, the one year review. So there was actually one more expense besides uh, replacing the tire, uh, and that was a gallon of windshield wiper fluid. Uh, that's all this has cost me so far. Uh, we charge at home, so <laughs> the roof covers uh, basically all that. But in terms of other repairs, just a tire for some from a random nail on the road and a gallon of windshield washer fluid. So pretty sweet. Uh, <laughs> definitely affordable uh, in, in that aspect. I know I usually spend more on that on just a regular vehicle in terms of, you know, uh, probably need brakes or rotors or all of that. Uh, that has not been the issue uh, so far. Hopefully we can get this vehicle into uh, the beta program and I would be interested to see how it performs. Uh, there's a couple spots around here, around my area, that regular autopilot, full self-driving have major issues with. Um, so it would be kind of interesting to see how the new software will react to that. We'll see. We're still working on uh, my driving score. We're sitting at a 98 right now. Uh, <laughs> but we will we will see so with that thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and as always have an excellent day